Hey, Zach Pack, welcome back to Zach Talks Tech, where it's about the community, engagement, and conversation we're having here about the tech that you love. Well, I'm doing it. I am gonna finally give iOS and Apple a try for a full year. As you guys saw in my last video, I'm gonna switch over and try out the Apple iPhone XR for a full year. I haven't decided on my color yet. Make sure you guys come back on October 26th when we do the giveaway and the premiere here live on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'll decide my color then. As you guys saw in my last video, I picked up a yellow, a red, a blue, and the coral color. I haven't decided, but I'm leaning towards the blue because blue. <laughs> so as I told you guys in the last video, I am definitely an Android, I guess you would call it fanboy. Look at my channel. I have all sorts of Androids on this channel. I've got devices from Vivo. This is the Vivo Next. Huawei. This is the Huawei P20 Pro. Awesome phone, awesome camera, terrible UI. The Razer phone, awesome phone, chunky, square. He did the exact opposite of everybody else last year. Awesome speakers, terrible camera. One plus six, you're getting 90% of what all the big boys are putting their cameras for 50% of the price. You don't gotta give up a kidney for this one. Pixel 2, awesome camera, pure Android. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Awesome, checks off all the marks. Terrible battery. So that leads me here to the iPhone XR. If you guys wanna know the reasons, some of the main reasons why I'm switching over to this, I suggest you check out my last video. Link is up here for you guys and also down below. Go ahead and check that out. But I'm really intrigued about what Apple has done here, how they've created a market for this phone. If you look at the specs, the specs! But, but the specs! <laughs> with this phone, compared to the uh, 10s and the 10s Max, it's exactly the same, except you only get a single camera. And there's a couple of different concessions as well. IP67, the 10s is IP68. There's a couple other differences as well. You're still gonna get the A12 Bionic. You're still gonna get the regular 12 megapixel shooter and all that great stuff. And of course, you're still gonna get the updates and the ability to use the iOS and the ecosystem. The ecosystem, which I'm really excited about getting into. You guys know that I edit on a MacBook Pro and I absolutely love it. I use Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna dive even deeper. Now, am I gonna put my SIM in here? Don't know yet. Not completely switching over. But this is me, as a hardcore Android user, giving this a good shot. No more of this 10 day, 14 day stuff and then sending it back. Going a full year. This will be in my left pocket for a full year. In my right pocket will be the Android flavor of the week of the month. I don't know. Coming up here, we got OnePlus coming up soon. We got the Galaxy S10, Huawei Mate 20 Pro coming up, Google Pixel 3. So I really enjoy the flexibility and how much I can do with the Android system. But what I really dislike about it, lack of updates. Uh, it's a little insecure sometimes with security. Obviously, if you're still downloading from the uh, Google Play Store, you should be fine. And it, there's such a contrast when, for example, when you go from Samsung to LG and et cetera, you're gonna see such a difference. So for that reason, I'm looking forward to basically jumping on with all the other Apple sheep. And hey, let's have some fun, it'll be good. So let me know down inside the comments section, are you an Android user? Are you an iOS user? What phone are you using right now? Tell me what's going on down there and we'll continue the conversation. If you guys have enjoyed the content here, please leave a thumbs up. Think about hitting the subscribe button as well, sharing it out to your friends and family. Give me a hashtag, Zach Pack down there. That is the name of my community. I'm excited about having you guys here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, cheers. Uh -oh.